In today's video, we're gonna talk about some amazing new Blender add-ons that I'm sure you will find useful, from creating particle effects, clouds, snow, modeling, and so much more. But before we continue, I wanna let you know, guys, that we have a new YouTube channel called CG Vortex, and it is for news about 3D software and the CG industry in general. So if you wanna keep yourself up to date with the latest add-ons, news, software updates, and so on, then you will see me there too. So, we're gonna start with this new Blender add-on called Car Paint Collection. We all know that having high quality materials and textures for your projects is extremely important for the quality of objects and 3D assets. As a result, you should always pay extra attention to this. However, the problem is this step can often be boring and takes a lot of time, especially when you need to create sophisticated materials inside Blender, using notes and stuff you know. That's why it is better if you have a third-party material that is of high quality, or you have an add-on specifically for that. It is also great if you can get procedural materials because you can modify and control them depending on your needs. And this is exactly what this add-on does. The add-on is basically a big collection that includes all types of car paints and anything related to materials that you can find in cars. So you will have over 180 different materials and shaders and they are all procedural and optimized, especially for the automotive industry. And every material is fully compatible with both Cycles and EV, which make them look realistic. Also, they are well organized and divided into different categories, which are metallic, plastic, grass, glossy, iridescent, matte, leather, camouflage, metal, candy car paint, and my favorite, carbon fiber. On a side note, this add-on is brought to you by B Production which is a company that makes cool add-ons like GoBoss, Camafax, Cloudscape, and especially vegetation add-ons. They currently have four different add-ons that offer a variety of assets and tools that help you with anything related to vegetation inside Blender, which is really cool since this is an important part of any project. Whether you want to create full forest with trees, a garden, or a grass field, or you want to just animate some leaves and trees, B Production will definitely help you with that because they spent a lot of time and dedication to create these tools for you. The assets and textures provided by each add-on are extremely of high quality simply because they have been tried and tested over the years by thousands of people. So if you are interested in what B Production has to offer, you will find the necessary links in the description. Moving on to a different topic, we have Dust Particles Plus which is, in a nutshell, real-time procedural particles assets that are powered by geometry nodes, and it is compatible with both EV and cycles. It basically provides a fairly reasonable level of control, and the controls provided in the modifier panel allow you to adjust all the aspects of the effect using sliders, so you don't need to burden yourself with all the geometry node setup, even though you can do that for yourself if you are an advanced user. The Dust Particles Plus add-on offers three versions, Pro, Pro Studio, and Lite. The Lite version will get you only the basic functionality, but it is also free. The Pro version will include all the extra sprites, features, and demo scenes, and the Pro Studio version is for studios. This add-on is not a traditional Blender add-on, because it is a collection of geometry node assets, so after you get a copy, you will find a Blender project inside there and you can easily append all the particle systems into your projects. Or you can just simply copy and paste the particle system from one project to another by selecting the particles and hitting Ctrl plus C to copy and then in your project use Ctrl plus V to paste. Once you do that, to adjust the particle system, you have to jump to the modifier properties tab to find all the controls and from there you can create wonders. The next one is really important and is gonna affect your workflow across the board if you work on a lot of projects, and it is called Memsaver. It is an add-on that allows you to optimize your VRAM consumption, which can hit your productivity and sanity big time. The good news is that the add-on got a new amazing update. In fact, it is one of the biggest updates I have seen in the Blender add-on before. So, in addition to the add-on's ability to estimate memory usage, dealing with large Blender files, adaptive image resize and so on, it has now many new features. Features like adaptive mesh decimation. This is a big update because now the add-on can optimize geometry, while before it was only able to optimize textures, which is not a small task per se. Furthermore, the add-on was able to work for static images only, 
but now it is able to work with animations too. This means that you can move the camera towards the precise textures and the animal will be able to adapt to the changes, do the right calculations and maintain the quality you desire in your renders and the great thing, it will be optimizing performance and VRAM consumptions at the same time. Lastly, the developers add support for UDIMs and sequences. This means that the add-on is able to resize UDIMs as if it is dealing with simple textures. So, in the previous version, only the current image from the sequence would be resized, thus not saving as much VRAM as possible, but it was even breaking appearance, and now all the images in the sequence are taken into account. Also, the good thing is the add-on has great documentation, so you can never get lost when dealing with the add-on. Also, their presentation video here is amazing. One thing I would say to developers is since you spent a lot of time and effort to make the add-on, just spend a little bit more time on presenting your product and creating good looking and detailed documentation like the guys here from Polygonic did so you can convince through the artist if your product is worth it. Now, if you're trying to create clouds for your projects, this add-on basically helps you create cool looking clouds or add existing VDB clouds from its library. The great thing is, it has numerous cool features that allow you to manipulate the cloud in a unique way. The first feature that we're gonna talk about is called Convert to Clouds. This one lets you create a cloud of any object that you want, meaning that you can make any object look like a cloud. This is an amazing feature, and it will help you make cute scenes, especially if you want to create anime or stylized scenes. Generally speaking, it works nicely, and it can convert the mesh in just a short period of time. What is interesting about this add-on is that it gives you optimized real cloud shaders that allow for faster rendering performance which will help you massively when dealing with a lot of clouds. And most importantly, it gives you access to a huge library of clouds that contains over 200 VDB clouds with a lot of variety. And you can easily select the ones that you like and drop them inside the 3D viewport. I think that everyone can agree that Snow look good especially when creating 3D scenes. So we have this add-on that allows you to add snow to your projects and scenes and customize it with a push of button in a short period of time. This add-on is from a developer who created add-ons like Sketching Cage, Sketching Curve, and Grease Pencil from Mesh. By the way, this add-on has now a 20% off deal if you want to take advantage of that. This snow add-on is really simple. You have a scene or model that you want to add snow to, and you can do that by selecting an object in your scene and hitting one button and voila, you're ready to go. Of course, you can access to a lot of customization options like the ability to adjust the snow's height, direction, shape, and level of detail. And this is according to your needs, of course. And you can also create footprints using any object in the scene. This tool, of course, is not the best out there, but it is a good start if you want to create something on the fly and create beautiful scenes that have snow in them. So guys, if you are interested in one of these add-ons, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. You can also see some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.